Well, it's going everybody. It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Come back. We got a special little project. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. What's going on, everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Got a special little project I'm gonna bring you guys along for. Um, dug this out from my parents' house. Um, I've been wanting to kind of get a film camera and take some pictures with it and see how I can do with it. So I was at mom and dad's here not too long ago, and mom had this, has had this forever. Uh, it's a 35 millimeter. Um, it's a Sears, which I went and did the research on it back then. Sears was made, this Sears, particular Sears model, this KSX, was made by Polaroid Company back then. Made in Japan. Um, it is a 35 millimeter. Does have the hot shoe for the flash. Uh, has all your settings here. But this thing is in a grave danger of needing cleaning. So that's what we're going to do. The one thing I did do was I pulled the batteries out of the bottom here just the other day and I got a new pack of batteries. So we will be putting those in at some point. But for now, I want to clean this thing up. I'm going to try to do it all dry. I don't want to use any chemicals on it or anything like that. So we're going to get started on doing that. Um, clean it up. It's mainly dust and that kind of stuff. And then I want to pull the lens off of this and take a look at that inside. Make sure everything's okay. Make sure the mirror, uh, well, whatever's inside. I can't remember what's inside of a old 35 millimeter. It shouldn't be a mirror. That's right. Because it's not digital. Um, but I think there's even some film left in here. Um, because I forwarded it earlier and it clicked. So, I don't know. We don't know what's going on. We will find out though here on camera and uh, we're going to get set up and we're going to dig into this. Now this lens, I will tell you this, this particular lens is a 80 to 200 millimeter. So this is a reach out and touch somebody lens. Um, auto zoom. I didn't know it had that. Huh. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I haven't been able to find the rest of the lenses. I know there's a 50 millimeter and there's another um, type lens there. So we will be looking for those. And once I get them, I'll get them all cleaned up and we'll be putting them on this. So let's dig into this thing. Real okay. Quick. Um, so I've got a couple things I'm going to use on this. I'm going to use this automotive detailing brush uh, to knock off the heavy stuff. As a matter of fact, I may even use compressed air to knock all the heavy stuff off first. Um, I will not be using this inside the camera itself, so don't worry, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, and I have some other camera cleaning products that we can use on the lenses and that kind of stuff. So, for right now, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to stop talking for a minute. And we're going to run a time lapse on me cleaning the camera.
Okay, so I thought I'd bring you back real quick. I popped the camera open. Actually, I did a rewind. There was a roll of film in here. Roll of Kodak 400 millimeter or 400 uh, speed film in it. But the good news is, is how clean inside the camera is. I'm just blown away with all the dirt and everything that was on the outside, how clean the inside really is. So that is a good thing. That is really a good thing in how clean it is. I'm hoping the internals on the lens end are this clean. Um, that is a great surprise, really and truly. So I guess we'll have to get some film. And we'll have to see what was on this old thing. It may not be worth it or anymore. We'll see. Okay, anyway, what I was saying about this is um, much like a DSLR, the lens comes off the same pretty much. It has a little button right there. You push down on that and turn, and the lens comes off the camera, just like this DSLR does. So the fundamentals have stayed pretty well the same on a lot of the cameras over the years. Um, just like the, the you know, the digital cameras you can sit you can set the speed to auto so it detects how fast it really needs to put you know open and close that shutter um, and then the only big difference or drawback or whatever you want to call it is there's not autofocus you have to focus the lens yourself which you know no big deal it it, it is what it is so anyway that opens up really good god I can't believe how clean it is on the inside of the camera itself. Um, if you can see in there, I just there's barely any dust in here whatsoever. Okay, we're gonna have to end the video here. Couldn't get the camera to click. Don't know what the problem may be, but I am gonna find some film and see if maybe that is the problem. Um, maybe I just need to get some film to make it work. Did put new batteries in it and so it's ready to go for that as far as that goes i'm not seeing the mirror move there is a mirror okay um the mirror is so you can see out and right now i can't see anything with that mirror and what i'm afraid of is something has happened inside the camera um, but i cannot see that mirror and once you hit the shutter button, that releases the mirror for the picture to go onto the film. So that's the problem I'm having right now. If you know very much about these old 35 millimeter cameras, hit me up on this video. Maybe between now and then, I had some film running around here. I don't know where it is now. But maybe between here and then, I can find that film and put it in here and see if it works. Who knows? I don't know. Um, like I said, I hadn't messed with one of these in years, in many years. But I got this one pretty clean. I mean, it's pretty, pretty darn clean, actually. Um, so we will see. Like I said, I was really impressed with how clean the inside of it was. A little paint missing, but I mean, this camera's got to be 30 some odd years old. So anyways, guys, we'll, we'll stop the video here. I'm going to drag it out trying to find film and stuff right now i know the wife gave me two unused rolls of film so i just gotta find it and see if i can't make this work if i do i'll give you an update be like on a saturday video or something but i got the camera looking better than it did when it first came in the house so that's pretty cool um but it would be neat to be able to get this thing working and take some cool stills with a 35 millimeter again all right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And make sure you let all your friends and enemies, whoever, know about us. And come check us out. So, as we always say, be prepared. Catch you on the next one.